asking for reading recommendations has the legitimate potential to become literary torture. Because it is a strange world out there filled with strange people with strange tastes. And unless you really trust the people you're asking, expect the unexpected. Be prepared for anything. Keep your ears, eyes and mind open. I kid you not. One day you'll be an innocent observer of life, casually strolling across town and then BOOM! Dead tube! And no, I will not talk about it. So like, wrap up your chores, let down your blinds, put your parents to sleep and strap in because to entertain you today, I have decided to subject myself to the roller coaster ride that are manga recommendations. We'll either find the literal best shit we've ever read, or the absolute craziest. A piece of media so unhinged that it'll make you pray for Truckkun to come and Isekai that memory out of your scalded brain. Okay, enough with the theatrics, let's get real. The first one we have is Ikigami. Written and illustrated by Motoro Mase, this story is set in a dystopian society and follows a government employee whose job is to deliver ikigami, or death papers, to unsuspecting citizens, informing them that they will die within 24 hours due to the National Welfare Act. And you thought you were having a bad day? Keep this poor guy in mind the next time you stub your toe and curse whoever's ugly face you saw first thing in the morning. Alright, I can tell from the get-go that this is one of the good ones. The story explores the impact of these ikigamis on both the recipients and the society as a whole. It's a well-written and thought-provoking read, dealing with themes like depression, suicide, violence and regret. The art masterfully tinged with realism to give you intricate and believable expressions, enhances the experience of the story and helps show the erratic ways humans can behave when given an ultimatum on their life. The most terrifying thing about this story is how the people have agreed to this weird lifestyle the government has introduced and most of society lives with it without a care in the world, unless and until they receive their own Ikigami. And then the story brings in a whole new dimension when the huge plot twist is revealed near the end. Definitely worth reading. Up next we have a recommendation from Shudasov, Fire Punch. This is Chainsaw Man's author, Tatsuki Fujimoto's first serialized manga. If you dive into this manga after Chainsaw Man, this will be a treat for you. With Fujimoto's distinctive art style and an even more unique story told in the best way possible, Fire Punch will remind you why you loved Chainsaw Man so much. Because hell, this is one wild and unpredictable ride, and dare I say it, even better than Chainsaw Man. It proves Fujimoto is not just a one-trick pony, and has real innate talent to tell stories. It's set in a post-apocalyptic world, where a never-ending winter has ravaged the land. The story follows the protagonist, Agni, a guy with a hot temper, literally, he's on fire, and a knack for regenerating body parts faster than you can say, ouch. Throw in a sister whom he <coughs> loves, a villainous organization with more issues than Vogue, and a whole lot of existential angst, and you've got a recipe for, well, let's just say it's not your grandma's bedtime story. One of the ballsiest manga I've ever read, Fire Punch tackles with a lot, and I mean a lot, of uncomfortable topics in just 83 chapters, going from dark and edgy to incomprehensible and metaphysical. So much so that, at the end of it, I didn't know what the hell it was that I was feeling, except that it was a 10 out of 10 experience. You can almost say it's an LSD trip in manga form. Moving on to lighter things, the next recommendation is from... Uh, either way, we have Koe no Katachi, also known as A Silent Voice. It is a manga series written and illustrated by Yoshitoki Oima. It tells the story of Shoya Ishida, a young boy who bullies a deaf girl named Shoko Nishimiya in elementary school. However, as he grows older, Shoya begins to regret his actions and seeks redemption by reconnecting with Shoko and making amends for his past behavior. When I said lighter things, I should not have followed up with Silent Voice. This manga is a roller coaster of feels that'll make you laugh, cry, and question whether onions were secretly added to the ink. 
The art has some great paneling that does a great job of telling this emotionally charged story. It's a slice of life manga, but the romance in it is done with such subtle beauty, it's like icing on the cake. It explores themes of bullying, forgiveness and redemption, and it has received critical acclaim for its emotional depth and character development. Basically, it's time well spent. Okay, we are seesawing back to another dark, absurd and wild ride. Oyasumi Punpun, also known as Goodnight Punpun, is a manga series written and illustrated by Inio Asano. It follows the life of a young boy named Punpun Punyama as he navigates the challenges of adolescence and adulthood. Wait, did I say boy? Okay, scratch that. But no, don't laugh, because this manga will make you question everything, including why a bird-headed protagonist is somehow the most relatable character in your life. Jokes aside, Punpun is a manga that is known for its raw, heavy and impactful story. It's deeply nihilistic, and with the way Punpun normalizes immoral and deplorable behavior, it might not be for everyone. It's been speculated that Punpun has been represented as a bird to better portray his feelings of alienation from the general society and to make it easier for the readers to put themselves in his position as a blank canvas. And to be honest, that juxtaposition of the story's dark themes with Punpun's comedic designs provides the most visually stunning depictions of mental health struggles I've ever seen. So, grab your therapy llama and prepare for a trip through the dark and twisted halls of growing up. Good night, Punpun, and good luck trying to sleep after this emotional roller coaster. Next, we have the manga adaption from the light novel series From Old Country Bumpkin to Master Swordsman. My hotshot disciples are all grown up now and they won't leave me alone. God, what a mouthful. I love it. Everything's right there in the title. Written by Shigeru Sakasaki and illustrated by Kazuki Sato, this manga series follows the story of Beryl Gardenant, a self-proclaimed humble old man, who is a sword instructor at his dojo in a rural backwater village. However, his retirement plans are sliced and diced when he is appointed as the special instructor for the Knights of the Liberian Order. Beryl now travels down the U-turn in his life and reunites with some of his best former students who do not let him have a moment of peace away from their adoration. Boohoo. The light novel to this story never gained as much recognition as its manga adaptation has brought it. This is mostly thanks to its wonderful art with beautifully done fight scenes and immaculate composition and framing. The artist made it look like the characters were really moving. This manga is an enjoyable read with interesting characterizations and some really satisfying badass moments. It will have you rooting for Beryl as he tries to keep up with his talented and overly enthusiastic disciples. So grab your sword and strap in for a hilarious adventure that proves age is just a number. Especially when you've got a bunch of hotshot students to keep you young and on your toes. Next up, we have one of the most popular manga series of the time, recommended by Al Sander 2, Berserk. Written and illustrated by the legendary mangaka Kentaro Miura. The story follows Guts, also known as the Black Swordsman, as he journeys to seek sanctuary from demonic forces and vengeance against a man who branded him as an unholy sacrifice. With a truly gigantic sword, an iron prosthetic left hand and a whole lot of strength, we watch Guts struggle against his bleak destiny, all the while fighting with a rage that threatens to strip him of his humanity. As you will read through this story, you will realize it really does deserve all its hype. There's some brilliantly done foreshadowing, and the way Guts is portrayed is especially beautiful because of how layered he is. At first, you might think he's just a selfish asshole who revels in battle, but with hindsight, you'll realize that it's just a defense mechanism against the horror he has to face. The art in this manga, with its exquisite attention to detail, enhances the overall experience of the story. Just look at this one panel. Like, whoa. Granted, there's some upsetting material in the form of gore and sexual abuse, but if that's not triggering for you, this story will not disappoint. Its main focus is on indomitable human spirit, and besides, Puck's face reactions provide plenty of moments to brighten up this otherwise dark series. 
Our last pick for the day is called The Strongest Brave Who Craves for Revenge, Extinguished with the Power of Darkness from Tripper Signs. I want to say I saved the best for last, but alas, this is hot garbage. Written by Ononata Manimani and illustrated by Sakamoto Akira, it follows the story of Raul. Really? What kind of hero name is that? who is unjustly executed with false charges and is then revived, which is when he vows revenge against his executors. Another generic fantasy revenge story with a rushed and forced plot, pointless sexualizations and a large dose of edginess that's best treated as a joke. <laughs> like, seriously, the sheer stupid edge, my god. <laughs> Thank god I only had to do one of these.